I think we can, some will at least refer to it as Walmart today, Joe. Uh, there's, there's probably three factors that drove this type of result. First, inevitably, Walmart took some share. Four and a half percent same-store sales growth in the U.S. is better than what we've heard from key retailers like in the grocery category. And grocery was an area of strength for Walmart in the second quarter. Second, the macro is good. The tide of consumer spending is rising. The average household has, call it, 2 to 4 percent more money to spend this year as a result of lower tax withholdings, and Walmart seeing its fair share of that. And third, there was probably some pent-up demand. The weather in April wasn't great, and some of that was pushed into May. And, but Walmart noted in its prepared remarks that it saw good trends throughout the quarter. So it just wasn't pent up demand from, from weather. It was really all three of those factors. And uh, the, adding to the macro story, it's not zero sum. You don't have to think that Walmart's gain is Amazon's loss. I would think this means Amazon's even going to continue to do well, right? There, there's enough room for everybody? Well, I think what we're seeing is the largest well positioned retailers are, 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 are doing even better. Now, to put some math around what Walmart did in the quarter, it added in its U.S. business around $4 billion of incremental sales year over year. There's 120 million households in the U.S. That means, on average, the average household spent an incremental $33 at Walmart. It's a pretty incredible number. No, any, you, you need a calculator, but you do any of the numbers for Walmart and you do the percentage increases on any of that stuff and it's like a number you, 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 like you think you're wrong. You think the calculators... I, I, said, I said the market cap increase today was $2.7 billion. In right. yeah, it's, right. 27 billion. Billion. Yeah. it's $27 billion. It's $27 billion. Yeah. These are big numbers. Do you... Um, can you figure out Macy's and, I mean, should we worry about Kohl's and Nordstrom's and others or, or what was that? It's just a big move. I mean, it's moved from the teens back to the low 40s. Is that all that was? Well, consumer shopping behavior is changing quite dramatically. The equity market is reacting to that. And I think what, what we're going to continue to see is that the winners are going to win and the losers are not going to do as well.